In this challenge, you guys are going to implement the behavior of moving our moss giant. All we want to focus on right now is just the behavior of moving him from point A to point B. We don't want to mess around with any of his animations. We'll get to that in the later videos. So when creating a movement system like this, we have a very simple AI. He's just going to be moving from point A to point B. The question is, though, is that we visually can see that he's clearly at point A, but the program can't see that. He needs to know that. So what we can do here is inside of our moss giant, we need to basically check what the current position is. So we're going to say if current position equals point A, then what needs to happen? Move to point B. Else, right? So else if, else if current position equals point B, then what needs to happen? Move to point A. So that's going to be the logic for the game to know where we are so we have a target to go to. The question here now is what's going to actually move us. So if current position equals point A, we're going to move to point B. What is physically going to be moving us? So that's where you're going to have to research how do we move an object or how do we how do we lerp an object? And there are things like vector3.lerp. There's also vector3.move towards. There's the scripting API. Specifically, what I would recommend checking out is vector3.move towards. In Google, just simply type vector3.move towards. And that would take us to the scripting API here. And you'll see here that moves a point current in a straight line towards a target point. The value returned by this function is a point distance delta units closer to target divided by point along the line between current and target. Now that part there, we're not really, we don't care about that, but the target is closer than the return value will be equal to target. Okay, so what's important here is that it's going to move a point in a straight line towards a target. And if we look at their example here, they created a step, which is like equivalent to our speed and what they've done here is they have a target, which is your point A or B, once you've determined which one you, is your target. And then here you can see that they are doing transform.position and they're setting it equal to vector3.move towards. And they're taking the current position, the target position, and the speed. So the current position and where you want to move to. Current position, target. Now what's important here is this vector3.move towards in the implementation. So you're going to grab the current position of our moss giant and set it equal to move towards and use your tooltip from there. All right, so I'll see you guys in the challenge review.